Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Here we go with another brand new 4x chip, this is chip number 43, and I'll get back to that in just a second. First, I want to apologize, these videos are a little late coming out, uploading a bunch of videos, so make sure you go check all of them out if you would, I'd appreciate it. Also, if you're a Call of Duty fan, I just collected 600,000 plus XP for one game. I've done this numerous times. I set the original world record for Infinite Warfare with 504,000 XP that was later bro broke by FIFA Kill. But you can see everything I did right there. The link to the video will be in the cards as well as 14 days of summer. You, correct, you heard me correctly, 14 days of summer. Day 1 started today. Now, this is the template of the thumbnail. I still have to add the words because as the time of me recording this, I don't know what the challenge is yet. But again... The Call of Duty video and the 14 Days of Summer playlist will be in the cards above. As to chip number 43, it is accessible by wearing the Nana Cape back bling inside the banana stand, and that banana stand is located in Neo Tilted. Now this will be unlocked at level 23 of your battle pass. It is one of the Bunger, Bunger, Bunker Jonesy, excuse me, Bunker Jonesy uh, pieces so you got the axes and you got the cape that's got the banana like um, going rotten uh, markings all over it as well as the building in neo tilted is the same way and obviously make sure you equip this item otherwise you will not be able to pick up the chip when you get to the chip you're going to see red print so to ensure that you have it equipped, you'll see it up there right next to your character. If you notice, I'm running full Jonesy outfit. I got the cape, I got the banana pickaxe, and I'm also using the banana um, trail. It'd be nice if they had a banana umbrella. That would that'd be kind of cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. Now, as always, I recommend you doing this in Team Rumble, but the chance that Team Rumble probably will not be there. But I did read something that they're going to get rid of Team Rumble and add something else. Now, there is going to be different LTMs, but there's going to be something else that's going to replace Team Rumble. What that is, I'm not really for sure. But again, you know, just pay attention to where you have to go to. Tilted Towers, or Neo Tilted, is usually right in the middle of the path anyway. So, I like using Team Rumble because you're on one side of the board and the opponents are on the other side of the board and hopefully whatever they're going to replace it with it'll be the same way to make it a whole lot easier you can see the building right here looks just like your cape just go in and you'll see the red print right here then it's going to recognize your cape and you're good to pick it up now if you didn't have that cape on that print would stay red let's go ahead and take a look at our item we just unlocked or our picture I should say and this one's like right smack dead in the middle. I'll tell you, I've been doing this in the last couple of videos. Let me go ahead and blow this image up. And here's that image blown up. Went ahead and removed my um, hashtag and my image in the upper left hand corner so you can see a full picture. Now, something I've, I've been talking about, and leave a comment down below if you kind of are thinking along the same lines. You know, there is a triangle that has popped up that you can't do anything with over in Snobby Shores. Now, if you draw a line from the cube above Jonesy's head and down to the eyeball and over to the monster, that is actually going to give you, actually, and from the monster back up to the cube, of course, it's going to give you a triangle. And Jonesy is going to be right smack dead in the middle of that triangle. Now, I'm wondering. You know, is it just a coincidence? Which we all should know, coincidences do not happen in Fortnite. They've always got a reason around everything. So, does this mean that whatever takes place is going to take place over in Snobby Shores? Because remember, the house was destroyed there. The far house on the right hand side was literally destroyed by the monster, and that's a direct path to the water. That triangle is located right there by the water. So is this where the monster is going to come out of the water at and do whatever it's going to do? And it's been rumored there's going to be airstrikes. It's also been rumored there's going to be a brand new map. So could they be using the airstrikes to take out the monster, which is going to destroy the entire map, 
and give us a brand new map in season 10. Only time will tell. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and if you subscribe, smash the notification bell so you know when I will upload my next video. Again, thank you for giving me your time, thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it. This is the Bulldozer, get your killing on, and I'm out of here.